This is a tutorial on how to set up Teal Joystick as an overlay in Discord. So the first thing you're going to do is go to uh, Teal Joystick website, which would be a.teal.info forward slash joystick. And once you're there, you're going to have to set up your, your joysticks. Um, the first thing I recommend is pressing F11 to go full screen because wherever you position these will determine where it's going to show up in OBS. So once you go full screen, to add a widget, you double click, select the widget you want to add. As you can see, I've added several already. Once you have all the different widgets you want to configure a widget, double click on it. You can change the labels and to set it to work with the proper accesses, axes, you want to go ahead and click on joysticks, which will give you the designations you need. So like on my left hand joystick, you can see that's showing up as joystick one and my uh, axis one is my strafe left right. Access two is throttle forward backwards. So you can so to set that up on here, you go in here, you tell it it's going to be joystick one, and access the x axis is my throttle, and the y axis is going to be right here, access two, um, for my uh, strafe left right. So once you have that all set up, it should all work. And once that's the case, you're going to go up here and save and give it a name, my overlay. Hit OK. And then once you have that set up, oh, you can also change the size and the settings. I highly suggest changing the size so it's not too small so people can uh, see it. Um, these are the settings I put in. Um, change the font size, change the widget uh, size and pixels. Um, if you want the background to go away, don't go anything below 20. If you do, like say you think you're going to make it any clearer, let's say you go one, you'll notice, bam, it makes it black. So um, if you go 19, actually I haven't tried it. No, it does make it clear. So just be careful. Just set, put in a setting. If you if you want to get rid of that background to where you can see through it, uh, you, you got to go at, around here with the settings. So press OK. So to now to get what we need to set it up in OBS, you can you get save, export, and you select direct link. Once you hit that, you can see that it put the chroma key background on. Press F11 to go out of full screen. You'll notice that your widgets have dropped down. That's because it's saving the aspect ratio that you had previously. You click up here. If it highlights the whole thing, you press Control C. If for some reason it doesn't, you want to make sure you get it all. So if it's in this case, you're going to hit Control A to select it all. Control C to copy. Once you have that URL copied, we're now going to go into OBS. You can see that I already have Star Citizen set up in, in this scene. I'm going to go ahead and add a browser. I'm going to call this Teal 2. I already have one called Teal. I'm going to paste that URL in here. And I'm going to set my canvas size. Um, in my case, it's 1920 by 1080. Yours may be bigger depending on your screen resolution or whatever you have set in OBS it usually defaults to your screen resolution. Hit OK. As you can see, it filled out the screen, but we no longer can see our game. One last step you have to do is right click, go to filters. You're going to add an effects filter. Chroma key. Hit OK. Now, if you look in here, it looks kind of grainy. And so that you want to kind of get it as clear as you want. The first thing you can do is set the similarity what you're doing is trying to set the color green to the closer to the color that 
was set by default. So you just scroll it back. You can see that it's kind of punching out a little bit now. We can kind of get rid of that green hue by changing the color spill reduction. And that looks decent enough. We can go ahead and hit close. And there we go, we have our overlay. So the next thing you should be able to do, um, by default, I believe the new version of OBS has a virtual camera. So what you do, you hit start virtual camera. You then go into Discord, you go into user settings, voice and video, and you scroll down and under camera, if you have multiple, you want to select OBS virtual camera. You can test it by hitting test video. And as you can see, there you go. We have our game and our overlay. Uh, if we want to test that, we can go into um, a lobby here, start video. I have my camera disabled. There you go. So yours won't be disabled by default. And there you go. We have the game and the overlay. Now, if you notice, the game is backwards, but it's only backwards in your preview. Everyone else looking at your video, it'll be correct. So don't try to do any uh, reversing of the image because it'll be backwards for everyone else. So if, if this bothers you, if it's in the other window and things moving the wrong way, all you have to do is right click, show my camera and turn it off and then it won't bother you. So once you're done, just hit video and that'll go away. So there's one last thing. If you don't wanna be bothered by constantly remembering to start the virtual camera and you just wanna be able to open OBS and it work pretty much just work, you wanna go and download this plugin. It's called OBS Virtual Cam. You wanna make sure you get the, uh, the correct version here so once you get it, follow the uh, installation instructions. Um, but basically what this does is when you, it'll add a virtual cam output under tools, which will, you can set to auto start and it uh, just leave this default. You can have buffer, set the buffer frames if you like. But uh, the reason why it's not started is because it is started in my other uh, instance of OBS that I'm using to record this. So if we go back to Discord and go under user settings, we can go back into voice and video and scroll down and go to OBS camera, because that's what it was called, hit test video, and you can see that it is displaying the output outputting what's uh, actually being recorded currently. So it's up to you on how you want to do it. Uh, but uh, either way, uh, it will work. So if you have any questions uh, about this and need any help, uh, you can direct message me in Discord uh, by just messaging uh, Thordomir. It's T-H-O-R-D-O-M-R. Or if you see me in, sh in a channel, you can pop in and just ask me for some help and I'll be happy to help you. So talk to you later.